Welcome, Rebel Griffins of Camarena. We in RSP would like to share with you our unit of study in sixth grade about the ancient Egypt culture. So, who were the ancient Egyptians? We explore this using Minecraft. In 2600 BC, King Zoser of Dynasty 3 became the first king to be buried in the stone pyramid. This is the famous step pyramid, Saqqara, which is named Step Like Sites. People don't know why Egyptians started making pyramids. Its shape may have to do with their religion. Let me go. The military served as an important part in Egypt, Egypt both in peacetime and during war. Egypt had a powerful army a full-time soldier that was stationed throughout the empire. A company, a company were made of about two, 200 foot soldiers, 5,000 men made up a division. There was a captain who led each company and he carried a staff taught with the company's emblem. A general or a general led each division, but some each co companies march under the banner of the local guides. Some Egyptian soldiers use, use many weapons in battles sometimes. Foot soldiers use javelins, daggers, and short curved swords. They also do protect themselves with shields made of wall hinds and wore a leather or bronze helmet and leather body armor for protection. Music and dance music and dance were very popular in the ancient Egyptian society and were performed on many occasions. Rich people hired musicians and dancers for entertainment. The musicians played three groups of instruments, strings, wind, and percussion. The harp, lyre, and lute were a few of the string group. Oh. <laughs> Flutes and oboes were the wind instruments. Musicians also used drums, tambourines, and rattles. Musicians also mem memorized the music sounds other than reading write, written music. A lot of musicians, dancers, acrobat musicians, and storytellers were all supported by the royal court and the nobles. Other entertainers worked in groups and be hired for public and non-public events. A lot of those a lot of those entertainers were women dancers and usually trained when they were younger over here but most of these performers were professionals but some were or awkward when it came to society. That's why I'm scribes. 100% ancient Egyptians spent most of their time farming. A farmer scattered wheat and barley seeds. The farmer also grew many things like vegetables, onions, radishes, peas, beans, cucumbers, lettuces, and meat. But for the meat, the ancient Egyptians had to hunt down animals so they can get meat. Cows also provide milk. The ancient Egyptians drank the cow's milk, also turned the milk into cheese. The Nile River also helped the ancient Egyptians with their water to drink. The ancient Egyptians sometimes hunt and cut animals open to eat their ribs of beef. That's how they survived because back in the 2000 BC, there was no stores and food you can just buy. The farmers had to grow and plant foods. The Egyptians had a hard time to survive. Two of the most, most important crops is bread and beer, also known as wheat and barley. So here we have the farmer and produces crops and 
And here, this is where he collects the crops for trading. I don't need to go up there. And over here is the jeweler. He makes jewelry. This is the jeweler's place. And this is where he gets the jewels out of the stone. And this is where he cooks, well, cuts the stone. It's where he can put it for later when he trades. And then out here, this is where he mines the stone to get the jewels. Ancient Egyptians needed jewels and such farming crops and stuff to work on trades so that they could have supplies that they needed. And over here we have a pyramid. These pyramids weren't normally easy to get into. Such as this. After life, after death, the spirit prepared, preparing creates in, in a certain way. The body could not be allowed to decay. Egyptian de developed embalming. A limestone jar called a canopic jar where they put organs. Then they would put the body in a wooden box and covered it with salt called nitron. Then they would put mummia over the body. Mummia is the herbical word for that for their term mummy. When the body was complete and ready for burial, they put things in their worn with them. The Egyptians buried their dead along with items to be used in afterlife. These items might be food, drinking, gold, and jewelry.